A beloved deer adopted by many in a St. Mary's neighborhood. Tonight, though, some of those neighbors are wondering why Idaho Fishing Game killed the animal and right in front of children. And a warning tonight, there are some graphic images you'll see. KX by North Caroline Flynn working for you. She's got more on the story. When one neighbor spotted orphaned baby the deer on her property over a year ago, she immediately called Fish and Wildlife, who said there wasn't anything that they could do and that she'd have to succumb to the elements. But that neighbor did not want to let that happen. Neighbors on this short block in St. Mary's say to know baby the deer was to love her. She'd come in the garage with me and I'd be working at my workbench and she'd stay in there with me for hours. Is this the garden? Yeah, so this is all from her and the deers. So we leave our door open and then the deers come in and eat all the leaves off. So Last week, their source of happiness was suddenly taken from them. Complaints were received by the Idaho Fish and Game and on Sunday, a warden showed up, found baby and got permission from property owners to kill her there. But she didn't tell adjacent homeowners. Baby was shot in this field, a stone's throw from this deck where neighbors inside had no clue what was going on. We thought we heard a, uh, something pop, and we thought it was a bird hit the glass sliding door. Their frustrations don't stop there. The warden took off after the first shot, but the problem was baby wasn't dead. She showed up on Mike Johnston's driveway bleeding. And that was a big upset with me because I'm a hunter, and you never leave game wounded. Enough. When she returned, a crowd had formed. And then she shot the second time um, in front of the people that had cared for her for so long and in front of the children. From inches away, that second shot still didn't kill baby. This deer eat out of my hand for a year. So you could have took the gun and put it right to her head. One shot. That didn't happen. They all feel like babies suffered in the end and want to know why more precautions weren't taken. Idaho Fish and Game did not return our calls for comment today. She wasn't just a deer. She was really people's happiness and people's joys. So when Fish and Game shot her, they took that joy. Away. Mia is so upset with the way Fish and Wildlife handled the situation that she's actually looking into turning her property into a sanctuary for orphaned animals. In St. Mary's, Idaho, Caroline Flynn, KXLY4 News.